Hey gang, it's Azeth. Happy Sunday. I'm gonna do a video today. Uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, just on a personal note, not that I know too many people of you here, that I that I have too many followers, but tomorrow's gonna be an interesting day for me, so I want to get this out of the way now. This being the video, I don't, I'm not sure how tomorrow's gonna go. Um, but in short, tomorrow's gonna be the two-year anniversary of when my mom passed away from cancer, and this part of the year, well, going back to November, November, uh, December, and January are very tough, but specifically January, because um, I mentioned my mom passed away on the 30th two, two years ago. Um, my other buddy passed away. This is going to be uh, three years now. This will be the thir his third birthday since he passed away. He died in November. One of the other reasons November kind of sucks. But, um, buddy of mine passed away f from heart-related conditions. That's a long story. And then the 21st was actually, and I didn't, know, I didn't know it was the 10th anniversary until it just kind of dawned on me, but um, 10 years ago we lost 13, well, 10 years ago we lost my buddy Andrew Matus, uh, a Marine in Iraq, but that deployment we lost a total of 13 Marines. So, um, November, or January kind of sucks. Um, I don't know what I plan on doing tomorrow, just low key or videos or business as usual, I don't know. We'll see how that happens. Um, today I want to do a video about um, why you shouldn't follow your dreams and why you should not figure out what your passion is and um, do that for the rest of your life. I said this a lot, um, I was an older guy going to college using the GI Bill and I, there were a lot of young people and or, I don't even know when to be honest sometime in my journeys throughout life um, I came to the realization that a lot of people get trapped and it's our fault as parents it's our fault as society it's our fault as teachers and institutional learning facilitators facilitators <laughs> um, because we tell people oh take this test find out what you like to do and do that as your job and that ruins it for a lot of people not too many people there are some and there are some jobs that allow it, but there are a lot of people who make that mistake and it ruins what their passion is. Um, and I challenge people all the time to take a moment, uh, and this is more adults, I tell adults all the time, take a minute, think about what, you're, what you want to do with your life in terms of like passion, what your thing you want to be is, not, not in terms of a job, but what you just, what you can't live life without. And then think about as many ways as you can achieve that and do that in your life without making it your job. So I may love making music. Well, I may um, practice the piano and do gigs on the side. I may love art. So I may just paint pictures and donate them or sell them or, or um, host, do things on the weekends. There's, there's a gang of stuff you can do. I may be a writer. So write on your free time. I may like to deal with kids, and so, oh, i got to be a teacher. Well, maybe I could just donate my time on the side. There's big brothers, big sisters. You could foster people. You could, this is going to sound crazy to a lot of people, but spend time with your family. You probably have a cousin, a nephew, a niece, all these other people that you have access, that you either can or will have access to, and that would mean a lot to those people probably. And I challenge people like that all the time. Think outside the box. A lot of people go into nursing because they want to help people they could donate their times on weekends um, and do all that stuff or start a chair do charity start your own charity work things like that this, everything doesn't always have to translate directly and I like this I need to work in that uh, it ruins it you know I'm sure everybody knows someone who's they hate their job bringing a nurse they, they made a mistake I know several people who have for example oh I'm gonna go and uh, do law enforcement they go and do X amount of time going to school getting degrees and realize they don't want to do it anymore um, and that's commendable, that's, that's okay, you're not pigeonholing yourself. But I try to, what I'm looking forward to, and hope I can achieve with my girls specific, is I want to instill in them the importance and reality of the fact that you can have your passion, but you need to be able to support the life that you want. Um, some of you know from my videos, I'm severely anti-third wave feminist. I, it's garbage. I don't want my girls touching feminism at least here, or if they go do some somewhere where there actually are issues 
confronting women on a grand sta stage good for them. If they stay here, I want them to be think about things reality. What do you want out of life? I don't want my daughter to be a executive at Ford. I don't want my daughter to be a housewife or I don't want my and and you know raising kids. I don't want my daughter to be a manager at McDonald's. I don't want them to be a rock star. I want them to do what they want to do and come to that decision from a place that hopefully I can help to instill in them. Do you want to travel? Well, do you have to take a job that travels? If you want to travel the world, you don't have to find some job that does that. What you can do is find a job that affords you the opportunity to travel. Those are the kind of things I want to instill in my girls. And I will, if my daughters become single lesbians all their life, I'll be just as happy as if my daughter is a, a working woman who gives me four grandkids and then everything in between. The only thing I want my daughters to do is be happy with their life. That's what I want to instill in them, not my expectations. And that's what we need to do as a society, as parents, as good people, as teachers, as role models, for example. We don't think about those things very often, I believe. And if we do, it's in passing. It's not it's something that we adamantly push. So tell these people that you know. Don't do what you want. Don't don't let people pit, push you into these corners where you need to do this or you're not going to be happy. So I used to tell people all the time, social work. Social work is super admirable. You help you could, you are in a position to potentially help a lot of people. You also see some screwed up awful things that mess with you and then you work horrible hours and then you don't get paid a lot. It's not that it's it's not admirable or not that it's I'm pushing people away, but some things are not for certain people. So I love being in the Marines. Loved it. Wouldn't go back and change anything in that regard. But I don't think everyone should go and join the Marine Corps. It's it's not what life is. Um, I was talking to someone about buying handguns the other day for concealed carry. Similarly, I said, I like this gun. It's what I carry. But my gun is not what 